Hello friends, welcome to Sam and Sugar and today we are going to discuss about Digital Signature Certificate DCS. This is a special episode from Sam and Sugar. For DCS related queries, uh, you can always get on the comment section and if you want to apply for DCS, you can contact on the number given below. So let's quickly head to our slides. So what is basically a digital signature certificate? It is basically an electronic version of physical certificate such as a driver's license or passport that can be used to prove identity, access information or science documents digitally. DCS can be used to sign income tax returns, verify responses to notice from the income tax department or submit documents electronically to the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. DCS can also be used to send encrypted emails. Who can register for DCS? DCS can be uh, registered by an individual or by companies, professionals or any other individuals or business owners, directors, company secretary. Now let's look at the checklist for application for DCS. First is the basic PAN card, Aadhaar card, passport size photos, email ID, mobile number. So once you have all these details, you can give it to your service provider and he will do the rest. So only thing you will be, impl uh, you will be involved is this uh, you will have uh, the service provider will give you a link uh, i believe it's on email uh, yes and uh, once you click on that link you will have to uh, verify it with a password after that uh, it will click on record so you will have to record uh, there will be a video recording of the statement that you are apply applying personally for a dcs digital signature certificate you will have to read whatever is given below so in my case it was given my name is Samar Villas Gaukar my video verification code is 970 I have applied for a Sinex digital certificate and once I have completed it within 30 seconds then I can submit the video and that's how I am involved while applying for DCS now once the DCS has been uh, completed uh, you will get it in a pen drive and it will be couriered by the service provider. It will have password uh, which will be given by the DCS provider and it can be changed but you can consult with the DCS provider as to how many times you can change the password. As far as I have heard it's around 15 times for uh, 3 years or 2 years uh, DCS. Now let's go to the next slide. Steps to use DCS. DCS, uh, you have to insert DCS, which is like a pen drive, to the laptop. Install and run the application uh, in the pen drive. Once those steps are done, then you will have to go on the income tax uh, portal. Uh, there you will have to click on update contact details uh, as given in the screen. And then you will have to click on register my DCS and you also have to ensure to download the M signer utility which is specially given on the income tax website so based on your applications like windows for me i have selected windows and uh, i have installed that once i have installed that i have now two desktop icons as you can see one is the uh, dse icon which is wd proxy and the other is mbridge as per the income tax website then i will click on the register digital certificate as given in the screen and I'll click on continue after that I will have to run the Embridge utility in the background as shown in the screen and then I will select the provider and uh, which is given the filter and uh, as for the filter sometimes the filter doesn't give uh, the provider so you will have to wait for some times it will appear and then you will select the certificate and put the DCS password which was given by your service provider as I had told and mentioned in the early screen. So you can check the details of DCS successful registration on your profile as given in the screen. Congratulations you have successfully registered your DCS on your income tax portal. As far as individuals are concerned their job is over here. But for a chartered accountant, their work still continues. So a chartered, a chartered accountant has registered his DSC on his personal uh, account. Now he will have to prepare another account for certifications. Basically all the CAs who are practicing CAs or doing tax audit or any other certifications, they have to register a new account 
and uh, they will have to prepare new account and these are the details these are the steps i will just mention one by one uh, i'll read out the ca has to follow the steps as given in the earlier sites and register dcs to his personal account the ca then has to register a new account in the income tax portal as a chartered accountant to accept jobs okay so the ca has to fill in following details for his uh, account creation so he will have to mention pan complete name date of birth membership number enrollment date and complete contact details once all these details have been filled in he will get a numerical password both on his mobile and his email address he will have to put both the otp and once his otp has been verified successfully then he has prepared his account for certification congratulations to all the cas who have made their account for certification now let's go to the steps the taxpayer needs to do the taxpayer basically needs uh, to appoint a ca uh, so these are the following steps he will have to log into his account he will have to click my ca under authorized partner as given in the screen so steps for appointing ca he will have to add ca then he will have to put the membership number of course uh, the membership number only of those ca who have been already registered on the income tax uh, website uh, that he has to consult with the ca once he has added the ca then a pop up will come for confirmation he will click on confirm now you have added your ca to the personal account congratulations to adding your ca in your personal income tax account now your job has not yet been completed yet now you have just added ca now you will have to assign a job to a ca so you have to click again on the authorized partner and then select my ca then you have to click on assign forms for this uh, there will be various list of forms as shown in the screen if you want to have a good look at it you can pause the screen or you can continue for further if you need a detailed video on each of these forms i will make a separate video but we cannot cover this in this for uh, video as it will become very lengthy so finally we uh, take the example uh, of form 15cb which is for a certificate for international payments more than 5 lakhs to a non resident or to a foreign company i have added myself uh, and i have click on submit and i have added myself for 15cb similarly for tax audit uh, the process is a little different for the taxpayer they will have to go under e file income tax forms and they'll have to click on file income tax forms under that they will have to go under the search menu they will have to write form 3c d under that you will have two options especially the traders who are trading in stock market they will have to click on this as shown in the screen then finally they will have to select the name of the ca as given in the filter again it will be uh, on the basis of the name of the ca that you have added in your account you can even attach files uh, like your trading profit and loss account congratulations you have added ca to your income tax portal and you have also assigned a job to the income tax for the ca now let's go what the ca needs to do once the job has been assigned he will have to log into his income tax account he under the work list uh, pending actions he will have to he will have to either accept or reject as it things fit and he is good to go so this is the way uh, the tax audits uh, can be performed so congratulations to all the cas for accepting the job of tax audit and uh, the certifications now uh, basically what i am saying is the due date is 30th of september so you still have one month of time if you are uh, applicable for tax audit i request that all of you please uh, appoint a ca as early as possible so the cas have a uh, sufficient amount of time to conduct their uh, audits and to certify uh, whatever uh, is required and if you have any further queries uh, please give on the comment section i will get back to you instantly or you can write your email to samansugar18 at derivgmail.com for dcs registration you can contact on 8454848584 i hope this video was useful don't forget to like and share the video and most of all subscribe to our channel till then ciao take care goodbye everyone